Set up the double integral over the region R of f of x comma y dA for both type one and type two regions, bounded by y equals three halves x minus six and y equals one fourth x squared minus six, which indicates the region R is the bounded region below. Type one and type two indicate the order of integration. For type one, the region lies between two vertical lines and the graphs of two functions of x. The order of integration is first with respect to y, then with respect to x. Because we integrate with respect to y first, notice the limits of integration for y must be functions of x. Looking at the graph below, because we're integrating with respect to y first and then x, we integrate vertically first and then horizontally. Notice the region r is bounded above and below by two functions of x and to the left and right by the vertical lines x equals a and x equals b. For type two, the region lies between two horizontal lines and the graphs of two functions of y. The order of integration is first with respect to x, then with respect to y, given by dx dy. Because we integrate with respect to x first, the limits of integration for x must be functions of y, given by h1 of y and h2 of y. So looking at the graph below for type two, because we integrate with respect to x first and then y, we integrate horizontally first and then vertically. Notice horizontally, the region is bounded by two functions of y, and vertically, by y equals c and y equals d. Let's begin by setting up the type one double integral for the region r. This indicates the order of integration is first with respect to y, then with respect to x. We're integrating vertically first and then horizontally. And because we're integrating with respect to y first, the limits of integration for y must be functions of x. Notice the region r is bounded below by the parabola given by the function of x, y equals one fourth x squared minus six. This is the lower limit of integration with respect to y. The region is bounded above by the line given by the function of x, y equals three halves x minus six. Three halves x minus six is the upper limit of integration. And now we integrate horizontally. Notice the leftmost point has an x value of zero given by the point zero comma negative six. And the rightmost point has an x value of six given by the point six comma three. The limits of integration for x are from zero to six. If we needed to find these points algebraically, we'd have to set the two functions of x equal to each other and solve for x, which I've shown here. We do get x equals zero or x equals six. And now let's set up the type two double integral for the same region. So because we now want type two, the order of integration is first with respect to x, then with respect to y, given by dx dy. This indicates we integrate horizontally first and then vertically. And because we're integrating with respect to x first, the limits of integration must be functions of y, which indicates we need to solve both of the functions above for x. And notice the region is bounded on the left by the line given by y equals three halves x minus six. Let's first solve this for x. Here's the work. To do this, we first add six to both sides, multiply both sides by two thirds, and we get x equals two thirds y plus four. Because the region is bounded to the left by the line, two thirds y plus four is the lower limit of integration. And now we need to solve y equals one fourth x squared minus six for x. To do this, we first add six to both sides, then multiply both sides by four, take the square root of both sides of the equation, which gives us x equals plus or minus the square root of the product of four and the quantity y plus six, but the square root of four is equal to two, and therefore we can write this as x equals plus or minus two square root of the quantity y plus six. But notice for our region r, x is non-negative, and therefore we can just use the principal or positive square root, and because the region r is bounded on the right by the parabola, two times the square root of the quantity y plus six is the upper limit of integration. And now we integrate vertically with respect to y. Notice the y coordinate of the lowest point is negative six, and the y coordinate of the highest point is positive three. The limits of integration for y are from negative six to three. And again, to find these y values algebraically, we would use the values of x equals zero and x equals six that we found for type one, which gave us the x coordinates for the points of intersection. And then we would take these two x values and sub it into either of the given functions. I use a linear function and notice we do get y equals negative six, as well as y equals three. I hope you found this helpful.